You know, we have uh, people working at Porsche who always only think about new ideas, new concepts and what we can do in the, in the future. And in this de department, together with the designer, with the styling people, this idea was created. How will the next super sports car of Porsche will look like? Number one, design-wise, so the design DNA of former Porsche sports cars carried over in the future. 70 miles per gallon approximately. Specific values, one is fuel consumption, definitely important answer in our environment today. This is three liters per 100 kilometers, 70 miles per gallon approximately. On a car in the 800 horsepower uh, league, combining that with an extraordinary lap time target on Nürburgring with less than 722, what's amongst the fastest cars here around. And bringing all these three things together in one car that was simply our target and is still our target. Well, the Nürburgring is for us one of the most important test tracks of the world. Of course, we are also testing in southern Italy on a high-speed uh, test track or in our test track in Weissach. But uh, for the driving dynamics and also for the endurance, there is nothing better than the Nürburgring. Well, for Porsche, the Nürburgring, <coughs> as for most manufacturers, we try to compete or to, to, to uh, compare our performance to former projects that we've been in. If you uh, have a good car for Nürburgring, it will be perfect on all other cars, on all other tracks in the world, on all other streets in the world. So it condenses the world, the automotive world, especially this, this, the world of the sports car, to one track and to one lap time. And the faster you are here, the better is definitely your car. To achieve, uh, on one hand, sign the lap time, on the other hand, uh, the very, very low fuel consumption, we decided for a plug-in hybrid uh, super sports car layout. Plug-in hybrid means you can charge the car from the standard grid, just with a cable. Um, we have two electric motors in the car, one in the front, one in the back. And then we add a 4.6 liter V8, a normally aspirated engine. Once the conventional engine is, is running, um, you, you don't really realize that, for instance, the uh, e-drive system is boosting the car because this is done automatically. You don't get any acoustic feedback that something like that is happening. So this nice package will have more than 795 horsepower. Acceleration 0 to 60 will be less than uh, 3 seconds. We uh, see a top speed that this is more than 200 miles per hour. Everything is new on that car. The electric motors, the battery, the engine, the chassis, the suspension, the tires. The V8 engine itself is brand new, um, so it's not in one of our cars. So it's completely from a white sheet of paper, brand new engine. We were not able to, to just take the transmission from the 991 top and put it in the 918, simply because we wanted to have a very low center of gravity. So what we did, we, we turned basically the transmission from the 991 top upside down and put it in the car. That obviously means that we had to redesign the transmission that we originally just wanted to take over basically completely. When we make such a uh such a, pro, uh, a project which is the top of the line, we always want to learn of, of it and we want to transfer the knowledge in the next cars. But there are also some components which we want to share with the uh, next generation of cars. For example, the steering wheel is developed for this car but will be the first one of the new generation of Porsche Sports steering wheels or also the seats. Uh, there are bucket seats which are developed for the 918 but I'm sure that, you, that they are available in the future also for the 911 GT3, for example. The knowledge of the management of all these components, what we have in the car. There is no complex car like the 918 right now, and we are now uh, learning for, uh, from this complexity how these uh, comp components have to work together. The, the power sources, the gearbox, the energy recover, uh, recoverment system and so on and that we want, of course, uh, to use in the future also in the other cars.
so far from from the technical point of view it's brilliant yeah we're just it's amazing how performant this car already is um, how confident this car makes you driving the car so yeah i think we are making very good progress we're satisfied <laughs>